Storytime friends, and thank you for tuning in for another episode of Crossroads Silk Road Storytime. If you've tuned in recently, you might have traveled with us to Colombia, you might have traveled to China. This time I'm taking you to my own city of Hong Kong because we've got a very special festival coming up and our book and craft are all about that festival. I'll tell you more about that in just a minute, but before I do, you might like to get a few things ready for your craft today. First of all, you're gonna need a few items such as sellotape, and if you don't like sellotape, you might like to use a stapler. You also need a pair of scissors, and finally, you need two different colored pieces of paper. I've chosen this light purple one, and I've also chosen orange to go with it. If you don't have any colored paper, don't worry, because you can just use white paper and do the coloring yourself. If you're ready, then we're going to continue now, and we are going to find out where Hong Kong is on the world map, so let's do that now. As you probably already guessed, today we are particularly interested in this big continent of Asia. Last time we found a big blue country called China, which is here, and Hong Kong is a very special city that sits in the very south of China, round about here. found Hong Kong on our world map and we've seen some pictures of what life is like in Hong Kong. Now it's time to find out what our story is all about. Before we do that, you might like to know that coming up shortly at the very beginning of October is a very, very exciting festival called Mid Autumn Festival. It's all about family gatherings, but it's also about the moon and about lanterns, which is why I've got these lanterns here. Our story today is called Round is a Mooncake, a book of shapes, and it's written by Rosie Ann Thong with pictures by Grace Lin. And we're going to read that story in just a minute. Before we do, though, we need to get ready for really good listening. And to do that, we need to find our storytime bottoms. So let's find them now and wiggle them down. Next, for really good listening, we need to click on our storytime ears. So let's do that next. Click. Click. And finally, for good watching, you might like to put on your storytime eyes. Here they are. Let's attach them. Shakum, shakum. And everyone was nice and quiet. Round is a mooncake, a book of shapes. Round is a mooncake. Round is the moon. Round are the lanterns outside my room. Round is a pebble that I found, a bowl of goldfish that make no sound. Round are the rice bowls in our house, round are the eyes of my curious mouse. Round is a ball that spins and twirls and the happy faces of boys and girls. Round are cups of jasmine tea at a table beneath a tree. What other round things do you see? Square is a checkerboard in the park. Square is my name chops inky mark. Square are tofu and radish cakes. Square are the sweets the bakery makes. Square is the box that pizza comes in and dim sum made by Mrs. Chin. Square is the basket where kittens sleep. Square is a box for secrets I keep. Square is a window with a view. Square is my room and my family's house too. I can name more square things, can you? Rectangles are inking stones, paintbrush racks and mobile phones. Popo's favorite Chinese lace a very special pencil case. Rectangles are sacks of rice, an abacus to tell the price. A puppet stage and homemade tickets. Rectangles are homes for crickets. Lucky money on a tree. Envelopes for you and me. Rectangles are books for fun. A bed to sleep in when day is done. 
Can you name another one? And that's the end. What a great story about different shapes and different Chinese festivals. As I mentioned, we've got a very special festival coming up and that's the Mid-Autumn Festival. It'll take place in the evening of the 1st of October. And as I mentioned at the beginning, lots of things are important, but most important of all is spending time with family and decorating your homes with lanterns. The other thing that you might like to know because it came up in our story is that there is a very special treat that Chinese people like to eat at Mid-Autumn Festival, and that is something called a mooncake. We'll talk a bit more about mooncakes later, but for now, it's time to do our craft. Are you ready? Craft today is this pretty Chinese lantern. It's made out of two different colored pieces of paper, but as I mentioned at the beginning, if you only have white paper in your home, then why not give it some color yourself? I've chosen this light purple for the lantern itself and a piece of orange over here for the handle. To start your lantern, you're going to want to start with your big piece of paper and then you're going to fold that paper in two, like this. Next, you need your scissors. And what you're going to do is you are going to cut marks along here until you get to the very end. I'll show you now. And that was the last bit. Now you need to be very careful that you leave a space up the top here and that you don't cut too far. If you'd find it helpful, you could mark that bit out with a pencil so that you know only to cut as far as the pencil. But if you open this up, this is going to be the beginning of our lantern. It's very easy to do the next step because all you're going to do is curl it around like this and like that. And you'll notice that it's already got that lantern shape. Now this is where, if you prefer to use sticky tape, you can, but I think a stapler might be just a little bit easier. So then you can take your staple and put a staple in right there at the top and another one at the bottom. This gives us the framework of our lantern. The next thing we need is a handle. And that's of course where that other colored piece of paper comes in. And again, that handle is just gonna go over the top of the lantern right like this. Again, if you'd like to use tape to secure it, you can, but I'm going to put another trusty staple in at the top just because it's a little bit quicker for me. I'm going to do that here and here. And that gives us another finished lantern. During the Mid-Autumn Festival, people like to decorate their homes with lanterns. And so don't just stop at one, please do make as many as you'd like to and use them to decorate your home. Now, because Mid-Autumn Festival is also celebrated in the evening because the moonlight is very important for this festival, you might like to put a candle inside. Now, a real candle and paper are not a good match, but you might find that you have at home one of these plastic candles like this that when you turn them on gives a lovely effect and you could put that inside your lantern as you celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival. We're coming to the end of this episode of Storytime, but before we finish up together, let's have another think about that mooncake. As I've mentioned, lanterns are important at the Mid-Autumn Festival and so is spending time with family. But the other thing that's really important is the giving and sharing of those mooncakes. Now, if you've never had a mooncake before, it is a round cake about this big. It's got lotus paste in it and it's also got a hard boiled egg yolk inside, which represents the moon. In Hong Kong, people love to give and share these cakes, but there are some families here who simply don't have the money to do so. And for that reason, Crossroads has partnered with Feeding Hong Kong to collect mooncakes and to share them with people in need. So if you're in Hong Kong and watching this and you'd like to make a difference to people in need in our city at Mid-Autumn Festival, then why not get in touch with Crossroads and come and share your mooncakes with people that don't have any. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Storytime and we'll see you again next time. Bye.